Hello friends, family, followers, subscribers, and guests. I'm going to talk just a short bit of science fiction. I love science fiction writing. I've written three science fiction books, and I'm in an epic right now that I'm really enjoying. And I've written a bunch of other stuff as well. So in the world of science fiction, when I was young, I don't remember if you remember the, uh, I think it was Captain America or whatever with the little decoder rings and you can get them on uh, cereal boxes and things like that. We had Dick Tracy with his, his phone that he actually talked into and he could look at people. What an amazing idea. It, it was a wristwatch. Unheard of. We had, uh, oh God, Buck Rogers. We had, with Buck Rogers, we had uh, planetary travel. We had ray guns, of all things, if you can imagine that, ray guns. Stuff that was new, novel, and of just some of the most far-fetched things that one could imagine of. I, when people, when I write science fiction, people say, what are you, what do you like to write? And my common answer is, I like to write historical stories of the future. And our science fiction back in those days were in fact historical stories of the future. Now we have the cell phone that is on your wrist like a wristwatch, tells time, and you can see the person you're talking to. You can leave messages, all kinds of things. That little cell phone has more computing power than was in the world in 1966. I operated in 1967, the most sophisticated antenna in the world, driven by a computer. It was hardwired and it was bigger than my man cave here. The state of the art has come a long ways. It's into holographic projections and just all kinds of things. So on YouTube, I watch science fiction once in a while. I have a, a favorite uh, channel I go to that I've subscribed to, and it's called Dust, D-U-S-T. I saw uh, a movie the other day, just a short clip actually, it's uh, I think seven minutes or something like that, that actually chilled me. It reminded me of Donovan's Brain, another science fiction movie back in the day when I was a very young person. And Donovan's Brain was a brain that could control people and cause bad things to happen. It actually gave me nightmares. What is happening today, if you uh, read the studies that are going on, is that they are doing electronic mind mapping and mapping the synapses and coming to a more fully understanding of how the brain works. So this particular show I saw in Dust, and I don't remember the name of it, what I'm going to try to do, because I did copy the uh, URL for it, is I'm going to try to put it in this video. I've never done that before. I know there's a way, and I'll explore it and see if I can have that happen. When I watched this video, it chilled me. And I felt much the same as I felt when I saw Donovan's brain. The reality of the video did not ultimately give me nightmares that I can remember. But I think it's worth some serious thought considering the politics and the arena of politics today in our local states, in our nation, and worldwide. And if you have any comments about this, if you look at it, you have any comments about it, I'd appreciate hearing what you think. I will also 
list the URL. I'll post it right here so that if I don't make it so you can click on it, if I can't figure that out, you can type it in and go to it and watch this particular segment for yourself. I've already wished everybody on this week uh, just a great coming week and a, and a fantastic weekend. All of us have challenges. I hope it can be the best it can be for you at this point in your life. I look forward to those of you who uh, choose to subscribe, follow, and all that because it's quite an ego boost. But independent of that, I hope I've given you some food for thought. I hope you have a great next week. Make it so.